In this episode, we'll be going over the lower body machines at Sagu Snap Fitness. First we have hip abduction. Target muscles being the gluteus minimus and gluteus medius muscles. First thing, you want to set the lever system to desired range of motion. It'll be on the lower right hand side of the machine. So here we go. So after I've done that, get into the machine, grab the lever again, take note that your thighs should be parallel with the floor, as you can see. Next, you'll adjust your weight. The motion will be outwards in a controlled fashion, back inwards to the desired repetition. Next, we have hip adduction, which will be working your hip adductors, your inner thigh muscles. Again, Make sure that your thighs are parallel with the floor. Adjust your weight. I'm going to take this opportunity to discuss time under tension. What I'm referring to is as you lift the weight up in the concentric motion and bring it back down eccentrically, the weight should not touch the weight coming down. As you'll see, the weight hovers above each other. This is what you want on all the machine exercises that you use. Okay, now, as you see the motion, you will bring the lever out to a desired and comfortable range. Squeeze inward and release back outwards and repeat to the desired repetitions. Take note, my neutral spine position, my back is not severely arched, or hunched in any way. Here we have the leg press, target muscles being the quadriceps and gluteus maximus. First thing you will do is set up the seat based on your height, forwards or backwards. Once you've done that, you will sit in the machine, place your feet onto the surface. Make sure that your knees do not cross over your toes. Okay, They can be in line with the toes but never crossing. Next you'll adjust your weight. After you've done that you'll be pressing from your heels, not your toes. Never locking out your knees. As you press forward and return to starting position, hovering that weight. Here we have leg extensions, target muscles, quadriceps. First thing you will do is adjust the foot pad so your range of motion will start at 90 degrees. Next you will adjust the back based on your height. As you're sitting in the machine, adjust the weight, have your ankles rolled underneath the pad, and extend forward. Notice my legs come back down to 90 degrees, and back up. Holding the handles for support, 
with the neutral spine position. Here we have the seated leg curl, target muscles, the hamstrings. So we will be working the back part of our legs now. First thing you will do is adjust the foot pad similarly to how you adjust it on the leg extensions up or down. Then you will adjust the back slider based on height. Now you will take note the pad that rests on your thighs to keep you locked into position. Let me demonstrate fully. So here I'm adjusting to a two and corresponding to a two, similarly to the leg extension. I will adjust the back based on my height. At five foot 10, I'm putting myself at approximately a six. So right foot first, Let's position yourself so you can have a neutral spine. Press the leg thigh pad down, adjust the weight. Hold the handles for stability and support. And bring the weight down 90 degrees and back to starting position and repeat. Finally, we have seated calf raises, which will work your calf muscles. This is the thigh pad to adjust based on height. You want this resting just on top of your thighs. Foot position, you'll note, I'm on the balls of my feet, not on the tips of my toes. I'll go down till I feel a slight pull, and I'll explode back up onto the balls of my feet. This is a plate loaded machine, so you will grab plates from the rack, slide them onto the machine like so, notice neutral spine position, shoulder blades are together, hands resting on the handles for comfort, rack the weight 